Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I've got some big important news for the prefab home industry. One of the hottest topics around housing lately has been the supply of homes, or lack thereof, and it looks like companies have been listening. Last fall it was announced that a new prefab home builder was setting up shop in Texas with plans to build a line of stylish homes that people at the time seemed pretty excited about. After following the prefab home industry for years now, I've realized that just because a company makes an announcement about their plans, it doesn't necessarily mean that's the way it's gonna play out. Similar to the way I announced diet starts Monday, Sunday afternoon after making a pig of myself all weekend. The intention is certainly there, but some companies never make it out of the concept phase and others get held up in the transition from idea to production far longer than they originally project. The good news is that some don't and just nine months after I first heard about them, one company just celebrated the grand opening of their first factory. The company I'm talking about is called HiFab with their line of stunning modular homes that will be available soon. Soon. What I'm going to do is bring you up to speed on the company, check out a few of their homes, and get into their pricing. HiFab is a company based in Grand Prairie, Texas that announced their entrance into the prefab space just last fall. The way they made their entrance was pretty interesting and not the typical series of events that I'm used to seeing. Usually the way it goes is idea, design, rendering, some kind of space to build out of, prototype, adjustments, and if all goes well, production. HiFab had their models designed by Lake Flato Architects, built a few of them on site, then built out a factory to build them, which I understand was also designed by Lake Flato. If you're sitting there thinking, that doesn't make any sense, why would a prefab company build on site? Doesn't that defeat the purpose? Well, kinda, but not really. I don't know the exact reason for building the first few homes on site, but if I had to guess, I think it likely had something to do with mitigating risk. Sure, they had architects design the homes and they probably thought they looked great, but the only way they could know for sure that people will like what they're putting down is to get a unit built. With that in mind, they designed something that could be built in a factory, then just built it on site, rather than build or rent an entire factory before they even knew for sure that people would like what they were offering. It makes sense, it's the same reason I commit to a single pair of new gear inch before jumping into the value pack. I don't know for sure if that's their exact reasoning for doing it the way they did, but from the outside looking in, that's my best guess which isn't saying much. The feedback received from their site-built homes must have been positive because they went from a few on-site show homes to a full-on factory that they just opened last week with the goal of scaling up to a six-week turnaround from start to finish. It doesn't take long looking at these homes to realize that their designs and some of their features are different than what a lot of the other companies are offering. One of the most unique features being offered is their floor system. They've got a proprietary steel support system with four inches of concrete poured into a steel composite pan. Keep in mind, these are volumetric modulars that come out of the factory in finished modules. So the concrete floors are poured inside the factory. A few of the other noteworthy factors that differentiate their builds include stucco and architectural metal siding for the exterior and standing seam metal roofing. If you want to get into a home from HiFab, they've broken their process down into four steps. The first step is design. The design step includes selecting the size, selecting the layout, selecting the finishes, and selecting the quantity. They've got a configurator on their website where people can go in and select options and colors and the price updates in real time, which is pretty slick. I'm talking countertops, tiles, cabinet styles, and on and on and on. Under size, they've listed two and three bedroom models, and for layouts, they've got C, Z, and L but more on that in a second. Step two is deposit. They require a $5,000 deposit to reserve a spot in their production line and lock in pricing and schedule a route and site analysis. For those interested, they have a list of preferred lenders they work with to secure financing for the purchase and payment options listed include paying cash or a construction loan. Step three is dream. I'm good at that. The dream step includes providing a site survey to the sales specialist and completion of the needed site improvements per the site summary that will be provided by HiFab. The final step, step four, is delivery. Honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time on this step, but basically the home gets delivered, yada, 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 you're moving in. It's all online if you're thirsty for more detail, but I'm gonna jump into the floor plans. What they got going on here is a line of six different plaids that they've broken down into two and three bedroom options. Three options in the two bedroom and three options in the three bedroom. It took me longer than I care to admit to realize that the letter assigned to the model refers to the shape of the home in question. 
the smallest of everything currently offered by HiFab is the Model C at 1,260 square feet. As just mentioned, the Model C takes on a C shape, which I like because when homes form a bit of a courtyard type area in the back, I like it. Always have, not sure why. The description says a two bedroom, two bathroom, 1,260 square foot modular centered in a C shape around the home's outside living space with the living and kitchen area connecting the bedroom bathrooms at either end of the home. The way they have the home set up, the main entrance is on the front into the living room and there's a coat closet off to one side. The main section of the home has the living room, dining room, and kitchen with another outside access to the back and double doors into the outside living space. At either end of the main space, there's a passage to a bedroom. The front bedroom is next to the main bathroom and the main bedroom is at the back with an ensuite. In the three bedroom, the C model jumps to 1,806 square feet. The third bedroom is added to the module of the main bedroom and the living space module increases in size as well. The C is my favorite out of everything they offer, but what I like is an always everyone's cup of juice, so moving on. The next size up in the two bedroom plans is the L model at 1,324 square feet. The L has a covered porch on the front with an entrance into the living space. The living room kitchen section is side to side instead of front to back and there are a couple things going on that I really like. First, I like the double doors off the living room to the outdoor space and second, I like the island. Not to flex, but I've lived in a home with an island, so. I've noticed if you're attending any kind of social gathering, people do seem to gravitate towards them. So if you like to host box socials, probably something to think about. For me, I would probably prefer more of a formal entry, but these are designed for Texas where they likely don't require an extra jacket, gloves, and hat to leave the house in the winter like we do on occasion up here in Canada. The Model L has all the bedrooms and bathrooms in one wing, starting with the bath, then bedroom two, stacking washer dryer in the hall, and finally the main bedroom complete with an ensuite. The three bedroom Model L changes the overall shape slightly with the third bedroom or office nursery as they've noted on the front of the home and I don't know that we can still call it an L. Really it's more of a cowboy boot. Name change might be in order. Model cowboy boot. The cowboy boot jumps in size to 1,821 square feet and the most notable differences include double doors off the living room and bigger closet in the main bedroom. The final plan on the roster is called Model Z and the two bedroom option runs just two square feet bigger than the Model L at 1,326 square feet. This model has the two modules set side by side, offset front to back to give it a bit more character. The front entrance is under a covered porch into the living space and the living space is open to the kitchen. It has the same island as the other two models and again the living room kitchen are contained to one module with the bedrooms and bathrooms in another. Into the bedroom module, the main bedroom is on the left, the bathroom is pretty much straight on and bedroom two is down to the right. I'm calling it this is my second favorite model in their line. The three bedroom jumps to 1,794 square feet with a nursery added between the bathroom and the main bedroom. Before I wrap this thing up, I am going to check out their pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. The two bedroom models have a base price of $299,000 and the three bedrooms have a base price of $399,000. Right now, they're only planning to build for Texas, but it'll be interesting to see if they expand that service area in the future. HiFab recently had the grand opening of their new factory and will start to build modulars as soon as they have all their approvals in place. They've got a line of high design models with different features and layouts than a lot of what else is out there. I'm excited to see the first homes coming out of their new factory, so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.